Stanja Belisco here uh, to explain briefly the concept of an electric generator, an alternating current electric generator. How do these things work in a very basic sense? Well, what happens is that you have a moving electrical conductor in a fixed magnetic field. You can also have an arrangement where the magnetic field moves and the wire remains fixed. But when you move an electrical conductor like this within a magnetic field, the magnetic lines of flux, in this case south, north, facing each other, flux lines go something like that, flux curves, this coil rotates in a horizontal plane so that we're looking at the whole thing from the side. Actually, it's a circular coil of wire. It looks elliptical because of our perspective. It rotates. You have a rotatable shaft. The wires from the coil are embedded in the shaft. And you get alternating current output when you rotate this shaft at 3600 revolutions per minute or 60 ro revolutions per second you will get 60 Hertz AC output not very much in this case a permanent magnets don't get all that powerful uh, but uh, you can have electromagnets here that can become very powerful and that is how larger electric generators work the moving electrical conductor in a fixed magnetic field, remember, sets up currents in that conductor. And those currents, the direction of the current depends upon the motion of the conductor within the field. And as this coil rotates, that current goes back and forth and back and forth and back and forth at a rate of 60 Hertz or 120 reversals per second in the United States. That is how an electric generator works. The more load you put on this coil, the more difficult it becomes to turn it. So you have to have some kind of a gas powered uh, motor or something that turns this coil at a constant 3600 revolutions per minute. Uh, that becomes more and more difficult for the motor as you increase the load. So this is in a sense an energy converter. It converts mechanical energy from the rotation into electrical energy. And of course the more electrical energy you demand or the more electrical power you demand, the more mechanical power it's going to take to turn that coil. That's why you can't, for example, build a little generator like this and power an entire city with a little motor from, you know, a little motor from a robot or something like that. You need a big, powerful engine in order to do that. That is the basic principle of an AC electric generator. That's all the detail I'll go into right now. You'll find more about this and other similar devices in my book Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics available from Amazon.com and also available throughout the observable universe even in a place like this a nebula where violent jet eruptions occur. An electric generator of the sort you just saw would even work out here, presumably, although I've never gone there and actually proven it. Stan Jabalisco, signing off for now. Until next time, so long.